morning. Welcome to Good Morning with Matty. It's me, my cup of tea, and my laptop. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to find your skill. Yes. How do you find skill? So there's three kinds of people. Those that know, those that don't know, and the maybes. Which one are you? See, I believe that skills are very much like the components of a car. They make up your personality, they determine your strength, and they also kind of determine who you are and how you function. So if you don't know your skills, you have no direction, and you don't really understand the purpose of you being here. Yeah, we like cars. And they all have different purpose. Some are family cars, some are sports cars, some are luxurious cars, and some are just getting by cars. So, if you are a know my skills, but I can't even want to go to the next step, this is what you could do. You need to get someone to talk it through. Talk it through is great. Get a coach, that's number one. Also, what you can do is what I call a possibility table. It's a table that helps you to understand and identify what your skills, your values, and your strengths are, and possible outcome. Now, for those people that don't know, do what you call a personality test, and there are loads out there, but there's actually one that's really good and doesn't cost anything. This is humanmetrics.com. So you have 70 questions to answer. Now you have to be really honest when answering this question, but if you are not honest with yourself when answering this question, you will find that you will get a totally or slightly different personality type. Once you finish the personality test, is go to a page called the personality page once you know what your personality is. I don't know what to do, Matty. I have no skills. I have no skills. I have no skills. Don't be alarmed. It's not the end of the world. There is hope. And finally, if you don't know what your skills are, it probably means you have very little experience of life or very little experience of work. Now that's not a bad thing. It just means you need to get some. But first, you might want to try all three things that I've said. So first of all, get a coach, get a mentor, or get someone you can talk it through. Then do the possibility table that I mentioned you about. Also, try the personality test. It will give you a clarity, it will give you direction, and it will kind of show you what kind of strengths you have and what you're more likely to do. Now, that doesn't mean it's 100% correct, but it's a great way to start if you want to find some kind of direction. Put those things in practice. Remember, skills are like the component of a car. If you don't know what your skills are, you don't know your strength. If you have more questions about how to find your skills, why don't you put a comment at the bottom of the video, right here. Even tweet it, send it to your friends. And I'll see you again next week. Thank you for watching. Good morning with Matty.